Hello everyone. In this tutorial video, we will uh, take a matrix and find its rank and nullity and also we will find its null space using Gauss elimination method. So in the uh, in this week's content, uh, you have seen that uh, Sad has taught us how to uh, find the rank and nullity of a matrix using uh, Gauss elimination. So let us work with an example. So let us consider a matrix A as follows. 2, 4, 0, 2, 1, 0, 3, 1, 3, 2, 1, 0. So, you are saying that this is a 3 cross 4 matrix. So, uh, there are 3 rows and uh, 4 columns. So, uh, we can see this matrix as a coefficient matrix of uh, the system of linear equation x equal to 0. Uh, where a is the coefficient matrix uh, so our what will be our system our system will be 2402103132310 and there should be this is 3 cross 4 so this x should be 4 cross 1 so x1 x2 x3 and x4 so this is a 4 cross 1 matrix and, uh, and this will be 3 cross 1 So, our system will be 2x1 plus 4x2 plus 2x4 equal to 0, x1 plus 3x3 plus x4 equal to 0, 3x1 plus 2x2 plus x3 equal to 0. So, this is our system of linear equation. So this is basically homogeneous system of linear equation. So for homogeneous system of linear equation, we always know that zero is a solution. But is there any other solution? Uh, we have to find it. So what we will do uh, in Gauss elimination, we know that we have to uh, transform this matrix A in uh, rho echelon form. or reduced row echelon form. So we will use uh, row operations uh, to uh, find this uh, row echelon form or row, uh, reduced row echelon form of the matrix A. So let us start doing that. So we have 2, 4, 0, 2, 1, 0, 3, 1. 3, 2, 1, 0. So at first what we have to do, we have to make this element to be 1. The first element, uh, the element in the first row and first column to be 1. So how we can do it? We have to take half into R1. So we will get 1, 2, 0, 1. And the remaining rows will be the same, will be unchanged. Now what we have to do, we have to make the elements below the pivot element, what we have changed already to be 1, the element below that to be 0. So we have to make all the elements in the first column to be 0 except the leading one, the leading element which is 1 here. So to make the element in the second row and first column to be 0, what we have to do, we have to just do R2 minus R1. We have to subtract row 1 from row 2 which will give us. So the first row will be same. The second row will become 0 minus 2 3 0 and uh, the third row will remain the same. Now we have to make this element to be 0. So what we have to do? We have to do R3 minus 3R1 and this will give us the first two row will be the same and the third row will become this will become 0 this is 2 minus 6 that is minus 4 1 minus 0 that is 1 and 0 minus 
one, uh, 3 is minus 3. So we get this matrix. Now let us write this matrix on the next page and do the row operations further. So now we have to make this element, this element at the second row, the leading element of the second row to be 1. So we will do minus half into R2. So this will give us the first row will be the same. This will become 1 minus 3 by 2 0 and the third row will remain as it is. So now we have to make the elements in the second column to be 0 except the leading one. So at first we make the element at uh, first row second column that to be 0. So we will do R1 minus 2 R2. So it will give us 1, 0, 3, 1. The second row will remain as it is. And the third row will also remain the same. Now we have to make the this element to be 0 which is at the uh, 3, 2 position. So we will do uh, R3 minus sorry R3 plus 4 R2. So this will give us the first two row will be the same and this will become 0, 0 minus 5 and minus 3. Now uh, the leading element in the third row is minus 5 so we have to make this as 1. So we will do uh, minus 1 by 5 into R3. So this will give us the first two row will be the same. The third row will become this will become 1 and this will become 3 by 5. And uh, this is already in uh, row echelon form. But we can proceed further to make it reduce row echelon form. So we have to make this and this element to be 0. So to make, make the element in the first row to be 0, first row and third column to be 0, what we have to do? We have to do uh, R1 minus 3R3. So this will give us 1, 0, 0. 1 minus 3 or 3 means 9 by 5. So this will give us uh, minus 4 by 5. So let me write it minus 4 by 5. And the second row will remain same. Now we have to make this element to be 0. So what we will do? We will do R2 minus sorry plus 3 by 2 r 3 so this will give us 1 0 0 minus 4 by 5 0 1 0 this will be 9 by 10 and this row will remain the same so this is in reduced row is long form. So this is the matrix in reduced row echelon form which we have obtained. Let me name it as R. So our new system of equation will be Rx equal to 0 and this will give us uh, x1 minus 4 by 5 x4 equal to 0 x2 minus sorry plus 9 by 10 x4 equal to 0 x3 plus 3 by 5 x4 equal to 0 so from this reduced row epsilon form we can see that uh, in this first column the leading coefficient is 1 and all the other element is uh, 0 so x1 is dependent variable in the second column also 
it is the case so it is also dependent variable third column also the leading is one and all the others are zero so x3 is also dependent variable but in the fourth column there is no leading element so x4 is independent variable or free variable so we have this system of equations so from it we get x1 equal to 4 by 5 x4 x2 equal to minus 9 by 10 x4 x3 equal to 3 by 5 minus 3 by 5 x4 so we are seeing that x1 x2 and x3 are dependent on x4 whereas x4 is free so the solution of the system we can write it as 4 by 5 x4 minus 9 by 10 x4 minus 3 by 5 x4 and x4 x4 is free so if we take x4 as t as x4 is our free variable so any vector of this form 4 by 5 t minus 9 by 10 t minus 3 by 5 t and t where t is any real number this kind of vectors are solution of this system of linear equation ax equal to 0 so what we get this type of vector are in the null space of this matrix because uh, what is the null space of a matrix null space of a matrix is all such vector x such that ax equal to 0 this is the null space of a so basically it is the solution of the system of linear equation for which uh, the matrix given matrix a is the coefficient matrix so we get in this case the null space of the matrix is the vector of this form where t is in r so we can see that this uh, this vectors are basically expressed if we know the t value of t then all the other values this 4 by 5 t minus 9 by 10 t minus 3 by 5 t these all are known so it depends only on one parameter that is t so if we put t equal to 1 then we get the vector 4 by 5 minus 9 by 10 minus 3 by 5 and 1 this vector is in the null space of t null space of a so this single term set 4 by 5 minus 9 by 10 minus 3 by 5 1 this singleton set forms a basis of this null space this is basis of null space of a because the null space is spanned by this vector because any uh, scalar multiplication of this vector is in the null space and that's the all that's the all, those are all the vectors which are in the null space so this forms a this spans the null space and this is a single tensor so it is linear obviously nearly independent so this forms a uh, basis of the null space of a so you can see that nullity of this nullity of a is one and uh, you can see in this uh, reduced echelon form that the uh, rank of this matrix as there are no non-zero row in the reduced row echelon form so rank of this r is 3 which is same as rank of a because r is the reduced row echelon form of a so rank of a is 3 nullity of uh, a is 1 and uh, this is a uh, 3 cross 4 matrix so rank plus nullity is nothing but 3 plus 1 equal to 4 this is the rank plus nullity rank nullity theorem so in this example you have seen that uh, we have find the rank of the matrix which is 3 the nullity of this matrix which is 1 we have also find the null space of this matrix which is given by this vector and we have find a basis 
for this null space and we have also verified we have also verified the rank 90 theorem which states that if a is a uh, a is m cross n matrix then rank of a plus nullity of a is equal to n here n is 4 in this case Thank you.